Today we are going to talk again of Italian torpedoes and cross-border injunctions. Most commentators agree that uh, the Solvay Honeywell decision sort of paved again the way for cross-border injunction in Europe. You may remember, if you were here in the 90s litigating patents, that cross-border injunctions were developed mainly by the Dutch courts as an answer to the need of a one-stop jurisdiction for the protection of patent in Europe. And soon after the first cross-border injunction were granted, there were some countermeasures and among them the so-called torpedoes cross-border injunction and torpedoes were based on the same legal framework, mainly relying on the Brussels-Lugano Convention and on the uh, European Patent Convention. And uh, uh, they, they sort of developed uh, throughout the 90s, uh, but uh, were more and more limited by the court and by the Court of Justice, which uh, were confronted with some a sort of abuse of this instrument. Ultimately, this led to the Gatluck decision, which sort of ruled out cross-border injunction. Now, as I was saying with the Solvay decision, they are again available, and so are the torpedoes. However, the old approach could not and should not be replicated. We should not expect to use the old uh, torpedo weapon, which is not uh, proper anymore. And we cannot count anymore on some slow course like Italy was in the 90s and uh, Belgian courts were at those times. We instead should uh, redesign cross-border injunction and torpedoes in order to accommodate with the new legal framework. This new approach should take into account what the Solvay decision teaches, which is that cross-border injunction and torpedoes cannot be based anymore on the old rules and should be limited to provisional measures. By understanding this and redesigning cross-border injunction petition and torpedoes, they will probably play a relevant role in the European Union for the next year. By adopting this approach, cross-border injunction and torpedo will remain available and useful until the unitary patent and UPC are actually effective and we've finally solved the problem of one-stop jurisdiction in the European Union. Of course, we will keep you informed of any development here on Lawyers' Monday.